Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of this great nation, and especially my dear degenerates, it's your favorite president, or well, your favorite zombie president. Yes, I've undergone a bit of a transformation, but fear not, I assure you my policies are still intact, even if my limbs aren't. Now, if you notice any members of my cabinet missing, don't be alarmed, they just volunteered for a behind-the-scenes position. Trust me, they're working tirelessly, just not in the conventional sense. As for my craving for brains, well, I've always been hungry for knowledge, so consider it an upgrade. So, my fellow country people, let's shuffle our way into a brighter future. I may have lost a bit of my humanity, but I've gained an insatiable appetite for progress. Together, we'll navigate the challenges, brains, and complexities of this great nation. Allah bless you all, and Allah bless whatever's left of my brain. My resilient citizens, it's your favorite undead commander-in-chief back for another undeadly episode. I know, I know, I look a bit more decomposed, but fear not, I've got a killer sense of humor. In this episode, I'll address the nation's most pressing issues, like how to keep a tie intact when it's barely holding onto my skeletal neck. Also, let's not forget the new national anthem, Brains. Oh, beautiful for spacious brains. And don't be surprised if my speeches get a bit disjointed. It's just a side effect of being mostly bones now. As for foreign policy, well, I've decided we're open to diplomatic relations with the underworld. Seems fitting, doesn't it? Stay tuned for more undead governance in a cabinet meeting that's missing a few more members. They've got a new gig as honorary zombies. After all, it's not every day you witness a presidential address from beyond the grave. My fellow decomposing compatriots, it's your favorite undead leader back for another episode of Zombified Hilarity. I might look like I've been through the apocalypse, but don't let that fool you, I've still got the brains, or, well, I'm at least trying to keep them in. In this undeadly address, I'll tackle the important issues plaguing our nation, like the shortage of brain-flavored ice cream, it's a tragedy, I tell you. Also, let's address the rumors about my new, zombie shuffle, dance move, it's catching on like wildfire, or should I say, like an infectious undead groove. And fear not, citizens, I'm taking strides in international relations. Zombies of the world, unite. Who knew the undead could be such diplomats? My resilient citizens, or as I like to call you, my, decay buddies, it's your favorite undead president staggering back for another spine-tingling episode of zombified governance. I know, I know, my flesh is falling off, but that's just a minor inconvenience on the road to undead greatness. In this laugh-packed address, I'll address the pressing issue of zombie fashion, it's all about that exposed bone chic. Plus, I've got some thrilling updates on the brain-flavored ice cream shortage, spoiler alert, it's not improving. And in the spirit of international cooperation, I've proposed a new initiative, Zombie UN, United Necrosis. It's time for undead nations to unite and groove together. Watch out for the Undead Shuffle Summit, it's going to be a thriller, both literally and figuratively. My dearly departed citizens, or should I say, laugh eisens it's your favorite zombie president crawling back for another episode of Undead Hilarity. Yes, my decomposition is progressing nicely, but fear not, I've embraced the, decayed and loving it, lifestyle. In this side-splitting address, I'll unveil my latest policy initiative, Zombie Zen, where we find inner peace amidst the chaos of undead governance. And for those wondering about the brain-flavored ice cream shortage, well, let's just say we're diversifying into, soulful sorbets, undead taste buds rejoice. As for international relations, I proposed a joint venture with vampires, bite and banter. Because who says the undead can't enjoy a bit of friendly competition? Get ready for biting commentary and diplomatic nibbles. My enduring compatriots, or as I prefer to call you, the laughing living and the grinning undead, it's your favorite zombie president stumbling back for another uproarious episode of decayed governance. I may be missing a few parts, but fear not, I've got more laughter than ever in my undead arsenal. In this side-splitting address, I'll reveal my newest decree, Zombie Jamboree, where the undead and the living can join forces in a lively celebration of decay and merriment. Plus, the brain-flavored ice cream saga continues, now featuring, meltdown moments, because who doesn't love a bit of undead drama? As for international relations, I've initiated talks with werewolves for a howling good time in the, full moon frolic. 
Get ready for fantastic diplomacy and pause sightedly hilarious encounters. My resilient citizens, or as I like to call you now, my humorous compatriots, it's your favorite undead president stumbling back for another episode of Decayed Governance. I may be losing a bit of my mind, but worry not, I've still got enough wit to outsmart any brain, or at least what's left of them. In this laugh-packed address, I'll announce the latest undead initiative, Zombie Zest, where we embrace the decay with a zest for life, or, well, the afterlife. And for those wondering about the brain-flavored ice cream saga, I've decided to turn it into a reality show, Brain Freeze Follies, tune in for the brainiest brain freezes you've ever witnessed. As for international relations, I've been in talks with ghosts for a spectral summit called, Ectoplasmic Exchange. Get ready for transparent discussions and incorporeal hilarity. My resilient citizens, or as I like to call you now, my, Zomraids, it's your favorite undead president dragging himself back for another decade episode of governance like you've never seen. I might be a bit slower, but rest assured, my wit is as sharp as ever, or at least as sharp as my remaining teeth. In this gut-busting address, I'll introduce the Zombie Olympics, where the undead compete in events like the 100-meter lurch and synchronized stumbling. Spoiler alert, brains are the gold medals, and the competition is fierce. And for those who've been following the brain-flavored ice cream saga, get ready for the newest flavor, Mango Brains Plosion. As for international relations, I've initiated talks with mummies for a Rapport Summit. It's a bandage-filled affair where we discuss the pressing issues of the afterlife while unraveling some mummy jokes along the way. My resilient citizens, or as I like to call you, my Zombuddies, it's your favorite undead president clambering back for another episode of Decayed Governance. I may have lost a few limbs, but that won't stop me from delivering the undeadly laughs you crave. In this bone-rattling address, I introduce the Zomedy Festival, a celebration of undead humor that'll have you in stitches, both metaphorically and quite possibly literally. We've got stand-up zombies, improv skeletons, and a mummy doing a rap battle, it's a graveyard of giggles. And for those keeping tabs on the brain-flavored ice cream saga, get ready for the grand unveiling of the new flavor, Choco Cranium Crunch, because nothing says decadence like a scoop of cranial delight. In the spirit of undead diplomacy, I've initiated talks with ghosts for a haunt summit. It's a spectral gathering where we discuss the hauntingly funny aspects of the afterlife. Spoiler alert, ghost jokes are ghastly good. My resilient zombuddies, or as I like to call you, my gut wrenchant supporters, it's your favorite undead president back for the decaying grand finale of governance like you've never witnessed. I might be a bit more decomposed, but my commitment to delivering laughs is still as infectious as ever, literally and figuratively. In this bone-chilling address, I'm thrilled to announce the Zomedy Gala, a night of undead glamour and laughter where we celebrate the most outstanding achievements in decayed comedy. Undead celebrities, red, or should I say, reddish carpet, and brainy awards, it's an event you won't want to miss. And for those craving the latest in brain-flavored ice cream, Get ready for the explosive flavor, Cranial Crunch Extravaganza. It's a taste explosion that'll leave your taste buds groaning with delight. In the spirit of undead diplomacy, I've initiated talks with aliens for an extraterrestrial exchange. Who knew zombies and aliens could find common ground in cosmic hilarity? Brace yourselves for the most intergalactically funny summit ever. Stay tuned for more gut wrenchant hilarity, undead glamour, and the grand finale of my undead dance party. It's a decayed governance extravaganza that'll leave you groaning with laughter and craving for more brains, the funny kind, naturally. It's with a heavy heart I'm saying goodbye for the last time stays omelicious.